if you look closely you can see that there is a demarcation between the lace and my skin that's because of the color of pencil i used to mark so after taking a shower and washing up that pencil color it was clear just like the picture right here um so yeah in case people are wondering like what the heck is she doing guys calm down it's just because of the pencil okay it was good after i washed it off hey guys what's good welcome back to my channel my name is barbara barbara daisy and if it's your first time tuning in you're popping okay anyways we're just going to jump right into this video where i'm going to be showing you guys exactly how i do my um bald cap method to apply my wig in this video i did use the ghost bond glue um i use the ghost bond glue only when i'm going to be wearing my frontal for three days or more if you're going to be wearing your frontals for like one day or two day or two days or like you remove your frontal every day like i don't think there's a point using the ghost bond glue because it definitely definitely holds for a long time one tip i will tell you guys before you go into the video when you're putting the ghost bond glue do not absolutely do not let it touch any strand of your hair don't try it because it would not come off literally you probably spend like 30 minutes trying to remove just one small section not to talk up the entire front so that's just one tip i'm going to say before we go into this video do not put ghost bond glue anywhere close to your natural hair don't do it you can put it on your skin and you can put it on the bald cap but not on your hair anyways i'm going to let you guys watch this video now and i'll see you guys in the end bye Mwah. okay guys so basically my hair is in six corn rolls nothing too special you want to make sure that you brush your hair in place so just take it out of the way basically so basically just put on your wig cap i've used this wig cap before that's why you can see foundation on it um but yeah you want to make sure you drag it all the way to to where the band is not on your edges at all so right there is good now that I have that in place I'm going to go ahead and use my got to be glue setting spray it's, if you use a got to be glue gel it just doesn't dry okay so definitely use a got to be glue um, setting spray and I'm just going to spray that all over my edges I'm gonna use my blow dryer to blow dry this. Okay, so this is completely dried now, so we're going to just go ahead and cut off the excess. I like to start from the center and work my way to the sides So now I'm just going to put on the wig to see how the bald cap is. I know there's, there are places I need to cut, but I just want to see the fitting of the wig first. Okay, so this is my wig. So I'm going to place it how I want it and see where I need to cut the bald cap. So right here looks good actually. Looks like it did a good job. I need to cut right here a bit. This one's too much. Okay. Right. So right here looks like it did a good job actually. So it's completely covered. So that's good. So on this side, I need to cut 
right here. So it's looking okay so far. I'm going to go ahead and now continue. So now I'm going to take my foundation. I'm just mixing my face foundations. I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation in the color. I don't even remember what color this is because I don't use this. I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter foundation in the color 420, and I'm going to mix it with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation in the color 340. This one is a bit too dark for me. The Fenty Beauty. So, and this one is just a, a little bit too light, so I'm just going to mix the two of them together. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. This is 99% alcohol. You should use 91, but I can't. I don't have my 91, so um, I'm gonna use this 99% alcohol. It's, it's not. It's the same thing, I think. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean around the parts that don't have the cap on it. I'm gonna try my best not to get on the main cap. So now onto the most important part. I'm going to go in with my ghost bond glue. This one right here. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below for you to get this. Amazing guys. Okay. So before I put on the glue, I'm going to put on my wig just to be sure everything is in place. And because you really don't want to put this glue on a part that is not going to be covered with hair because it's gonna be messy. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my wig. Okay, so she's looking cute or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm so excited. So you definitely want to move this back a bit because that's way too forward. So this is sitting right here. This is sitting right here. Like, look, just look at that, guys. Like, look at that blend. What lace, boo? What lace? Right here might be kind of crooked because this lace frontal is not long enough, literally. So annoying. It was like the hairline, the lace was kind of like the hairline was like straight like this and then came out. Like, literally, I had to cut a huge chunk of the lace, which is why I don't have that much parting space again like literally for you to imagine how much of the lace i had to cut like literally i just went like whoop, cut off that entire part because it was so useless <laughs> anyway so and the lace itself is not long enough to get from ear to ear which is kind of annoying because right here as you can see it's getting right here but it's barely getting to the other side of my sideburns basically so it's kind of annoying so right here might be a bit crooked, but I almost never show this part of my hair anyways, so it's not going to be that much of a big deal. Anyways, um, now that I've seen that it's sitting right, what I'm going to do now is just make sure I comb all the hair back. Maybe I should use my brush. Oops, careful. Brush all the hair back just to make sure everything is out of the way. And I'm going to go in with my hair clips. I got this on Amazon, so I'm going to leave a link in, in the description box for you guys. It was like a whole pack of this, and it was super cheap. I don't even remember how much, but I know it was super cheap. So I'm going to just pin my hair in place. So I like how it's sitting. I'm going to go ahead and mark exactly where I'm going to put the wig, okay? 
going to just go ahead and mark where I'm going to put the wig. So I'm using my um, eyebrow pencil from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to mark exactly where the lace is. So I used the dark pencil to mark the um, where the lace is meeting my skin. I wouldn't suggest you use that um, if you're going out immediately. Try to use something close to your skin tone or don't even mark anything at all. I wasn't going out so right after this I took a shower and I washed up the brown pencil okay because if you use a brown pencil you're going to see a demarcation until you wash it off so now that we have that marked this is what it looks like so I'm going to put my glue behind that line so it's I'm not gonna make any glue come outside that line or on that line okay we're going to put the glue behind So after applying a thin layer of glue, this is what it looks like. The middle right here is already drying because you can tell it's drying because it's already kind of see-through. You can't really, it's basically invisible basically. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my blow dryer around the glue just a little bit and I'm going to put it on warm. So now I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to start laying the wig. I'm starting from the center because it's just a lot easier. And I'm placing it just behind that line as we marked earlier. what we have I'm just gonna take out all these pins we don't need them anymore so pretty much that's how you do the ball cap method I told you guys right here I was going to be a bit crooked um, but yeah I really don't style my hair I always I always put my hair like this so it's gonna be covered anyways so um, I'm pretty much done with doing the ball cap method I just need to style my hair what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to just put this mousse on my hair to set it and this is the Aussie Moist this is by Aussie Moist basically this one and I'm gonna put not too much just a good amount to set the hair So yes guys, that's pretty much it for the video. I went ahead and I added a few curls just to add some volume to this hair. So this hair when it came, it was kinky. It was a kinky texture hair. And I washed it. And after washing it, it literally lost the kinky texture. Like it doesn't even look like kinky hair at all. I'm going to insert a clip of when I first wore the wig and how it looked. So that's why I'm wondering, I'm like, what happened to the kinky texture? Like it just completely disappeared i'm going to leave the details of this hair in the description box below so definitely check it out if you like this hair but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it definitely give this video a big thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more content and also leave a comment in the section below and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye Mwah.